Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us in our new video. We're going to show you how to see who unfollowed you on Instagram. It's entirely free and it's really easy to do. Just a quick note, if you like what we're up to, please click the subscribe button. We need all of your help in order to keep making videos like this. If you want a quick way to grow your account, please go on and follow our account and then go on and also follow as many followers of ours as you can. And what you'll find is it will work together and we'll all grow our accounts. All right, let's jump into it. All right, we're back. The first step is to go to your Instagram account and go to settings. Within settings, you wanna to go to privacy and security. You wanna scroll down. You wanna to go to data download. HTML is fine, it has your email address here. You click next, put in your password, and then Instagram on a given date will send you the information that you need in order to do this. So what I've already done here is I've received the email from Instagram, I saved it in my downloads folder, and it looks like this in a zipped file. I'm gonna click on it. For our purposes to see who unfollowed us, we're gonna click on followers and following. And we're gonna focus on the followers. These are the people who were following us on a specific date. And in order to figure out who unfollowed us, we have to repeat this step at a later date, give it a week, give it a month, to find out who stopped following us. So right now, we're gonna click on followers. It's gonna open up a web tab, and we're gonna select all the names. I'm simply gonna click here, hit Control A, Control C, and then Excel, or Google Sheets, you paste. I'm gonna click down here and paste for the matching destination formatting to remove any formatting. And I'm gonna delete the first few cells. So now what we have here are the accounts that are following us up until a specific point in time. We have the names and we have all of the dates. Now what we have to do is get rid of those dates. And there are a couple ways to do it. If we're using Google Sheets, one way to do it is to filter the data and then delete it out. So I'm gonna to go to data here in Excel, but you can do the same thing in Google Sheets, create a filter up here. I'm gonna create a filter and I'm gonna organize alphabetically. I have to go in and find all the different months, starting with April, I'll go in and delete all the ones for April. Do the same thing for August and I will do the same thing for February. But a faster way, if you do have Excel, and I'll jump back a step, is to do this. We'll delete this filter, select the entire column, hit Control F. We're gonna type in either AM or PM to start. Here I have AM. We're gonna click Match Case, and then we're gonna click Find All. I'm now gonna click here, inside, hit Control A, and what this does is it highlights every single cell that has a capital AM with spaces, which are all the dates. I'm now gonna click out here and simply hit delete, and it deletes all of them. I'm gonna repeat this step for PM. So we have PM, match case, find all, select this, hit control A, click out here, and delete. Now I need to clean up this column. So I'm gonna select all again. I'm under data. I'm gonna hit remove duplicates. I have one extra blank space here, which I'm gonna delete. And I'm gonna give this column a name. Inserting shift cells down for this. We're gonna call this following day one. All right, so now what I'm going to do is give this a color. Let's give it the color blue. These are all the people following me on a certain day. Now to find out who stopped following me is pretty easy. We're going to do the same data download after a period of time passes. Let's say it's been a month and let's say all of these people stopped following us. 
So I'm gonna create a separate column just so we can track them. So I can show you what we do. I wanna give them the color red because we don't like them. But they're still here, okay? They're still here in this, because this is day one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make believe it's day 30. And on day 30, all of these people stopped following us. So I'm gonna delete shift cells up. Now on day 30, we have fewer followers because they stopped following us. We don't know why they stopped following us, but maybe we can find out. So we're gonna give this column a new color, and this is green. So now in order to find these people, we've got day one, and we've got day 30. The next step is to take all the people from day one, I'm gonna hit shift control down, copies all of them, and I'm gonna paste them under the list from day 30. And quite simply, all I have to do is select the entire column and remove the duplicates. And this will filter out and show me exactly who stopped following. All right, it starts with C and ends with big. Let's take a look. Here we are. So what this does is it gives us the list of people who stopped following us. It's as easy as that. Now, if you wanna create this in a separate column, I can move up, I can paste it over here, and we can track it over a period of time. You can add dates if you want, however you wanna do it. And you can give it a different color. And if you do this over a period of time, you can systematically find out who stopped following you. Now it's up to you to figure out the why. So again, if you like this video, please subscribe. We have many more videos coming. We appreciate your support. So just a quick recap. You download the data of people following you on a certain day. You wait a period of time, download the data again, have your day one, and then the next time you download the data, you take your day one, put it underneath the new day, and then remove duplicates. And that will give you the list of people who stopped following.